Karen's and Kevin's try to get away with some of the most wild stupidity one could ever do. Sometimes they go a bit too far and find themselves facing consequences for those foolish actions. And that's what we see here on Completely Foolish, the show about foolish people doing foolish things, dealing with consequences from the cops. Well, mostly. Also, I'm a bit sick, hence the reason my voice is kinda crap. Let's get into the videos. On the 10th of January 2023, officers pulled over a woman suspected of stealing Legos from Target. And here's what happens next. Hello, how are you? I was stopping you because this vehicle uh, was possibly involved in a shoplifting from Target. So they provided the description very well of the vehicle and uh, description of, you know, you. So, uh, do you have your driver's license with you? Yeah, I don't, you know. All right, thanks. Yeah, so I mean, you essentially know what I know right now. I mean, there's a deputy there that has confirmed it. Um, and they're trying to get all the details hashed out, but um, they provided a very clear description of the vehicle, which matches this description, and almost an identical tag number. So, um, you know, just uh, hang out, okay? You don't have any weapons in the vehicle or anything? Okay. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah, we're looking for Legos. We're going to show the Legos. I'm going to hang out on the side. So, where are you heading today? Where? Interlocking? Okay. What brings you into Palm Coast? Just driving through from Edgewater. Just driving through from Edgewater? Okay. What takes you out to uh, Interlocking? I'm just saying that I'm like going through a divorce. You're going through a divorce? And my mother has a leg cancer. We have the witness the respond witness. or show up. So, um, so do you live in Edgewater? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. And I have a storage in Edgewater. You have a storage unit out there? Yeah, like I'm kind of taking all my stuff to my mom or to the lake house right now because it's just too much for me. Okay. Uh, just north of West 100 on uh, US 1. Yeah. All right, just hang tight for a couple minutes or just kind of trying to figure out what's going on. I just rolled up, so I don't, you know, I'm just here standing by for safety. I don't really know a whole lot what's going on, so. You don't know what happened? Yeah. Did you make any stops when you got off the highway? Um, yeah. Where'd you stop? Target. You stopped at Target? Oh, nobody said you took anything. Oh, so would you get a Target? Nothing. I didn't get anything. You didn't buy anything? No. Okay. Um, she's got a bunch of Legos in the back of this truck, so it's uh, possible that uh, we could have more than one shoplifter uh, incident from another location. How come you stopped at Target? Just to shop because I like I buy and sell Legos. So. You buy and sell Legos? Yeah. So you were shopping, but you didn't get anything? I didn't end up getting anything. You didn't get anything? No. Okay. So they just didn't have what you were looking for? Yeah. We're always finding cars. Yeah, I'm good at what I do. <laughs> um, I'm just thinking ahead. How do you go about buy, sell, trading Legos? Um. Word of mouth? Okay. You nervous? You seem like you're shaking a little bit. Yeah. You know. Well, they got the property. Yeah, at, out to, I mean, she passed all lines of sale outside they recovered it outside the store you know she's got a bunch of lego boxes uh like star wars legos and all that i mean i can see in the back what so it's possible that uh 
according to the store, they're saying that um, she's been hitting other stores in the state. I'm gonna grab some water, okay? Okay, any weapons in the car? No. Did you just get that? No. No? Do what? I heard this since yesterday. Yeah, since yesterday. I know that's the Target brand, the Good and Gather. Yeah. That's where I do all my shopping too. I like that product there. It's, it's good. I'm gonna have her step up because she's gonna be driving away. All right, ma'am. I'm just gonna have you step out of the car for me, okay? You could just leave that right on the center console for now. And you can put your phone down just so you don't drop it or anything. You can just leave it on the seat. Okay. You just hang tight right against the car here. Right here. You could just lean right against the car. Is the key still in the ignition? Yeah. Is the car on? I think so. Okay, do you mind if I go turn it off real quick and leave the key on the dash? We just don't want it running off on us. Alright. Yeah, we're just waiting for Rex for her show up. Show up? Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's just waiting on one of our other partners. Alright, just real quick, just because there's a lot of cops here, you know, you're on the car, we're standing by you. I'm just going to read you your rights real quick, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used as evidence against you. You have the right to talk to an attorney and have him or her with you now or at any time during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, we will be appointed to represent you. If at any time you wish to stop talking, have an attorney present, all questioning will be stopped at your request. You understand these rights? All right. So, so you... Because right, before I was asking you if you had any kind of a policy. Just checking. Do you mind if I partner looks? No. No. Alright, so real quick before I go search your vehicle or anything, would you mind just going to the back of his vehicle so that way we're not as close to traffic? And so you are aware that thing is sharp, so I don't want you getting hurt. Be careful with your pants. Yeah. It looks like you. Look I like you. We're going to do a show up, and uh, the deputy is going to bring by the witness that we have, and they're going to say whether or not that the, what, whatever they observed was uh, you or not. I didn't take anything from that. Well, I mean, uh, according to them, past all lines of sale, Got out of the store, and they recovered the property outside the outside the uh, doors. That is not outside the doors. I can see. Okay. It sounds to me that you have kind of an issue with this stuff, you know, and maybe you should get some help, you know, because this isn't the way to be. I'm having a rough time right now. Honestly, like I'm going through the worst matches of abuse. Yeah. And. So people that you shop with and do it for the thrill or or they're on hard times. But you know, uh, it may seem like not a big deal to you, but the, the those big corporations they just write it off and they end up raising the prices of everything else. So the people who work their butt off to pay for stuff, me, I end up having to pay more for stuff like that you know I me mean? my shoplifting bill or shop shopping bill is more because of theft i don't think it's fair you know she has a roll of a walmart receipt paper for some reason it's not Walmart. Survey Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. Walmart. 
Really? Yeah. Survey Walmart. <laughs> okay. I wonder if Walmart has anything on her. Found a target roll. So you're going through some tough times. That's kind of why you're getting caught up in this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like financially difficult times. Yeah, my, my husband is not supporting me at all, and we can put bear together. I don't really. So are you? I mean, are you having to? Are you having to shoplift to provide for your needs? That kind of deal. Huh? Is it basically? I don't want to pay too much. I'm sorry, I can't. I don't really want to say too much to you guys. Oh, I, okay, I see what you're saying. I'm starting to dig up the uh, things. These are some brand new shoes in the Target bag. No tags. Um, there's a lot of like Target bags are in this um, compressed like state. Here's a Walmart roll. Here's a Target roll. Blank or receipt paper. Like, but on the back it's mm. the store paper. So I guess explain to me like, uh, so you, I mean, you had these items and um, according, you know, it's it's your word versus theirs, right? Because they're saying something. Explain to me what happened. How, how did it all go, go down? I was pushing a car out of the store and they said they stopped me and I just walked away. Where'd they stop you? In the in the vestibule, the door vestibule. Um, you mean like the main doors to the store? All right, so so you didn't that, you didn't, uh, you weren't like in the parking lot going to your, but you were heading out and they stopped you before you could get out? Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he needs to just be driving by. Okay. Yeah. So hey, just let us know on LE3, yay or nay. Also, um, have your guy contact other LPs for other targets because we're finding a lot more merchandise. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But do your thing. Ever stand just by the back of your vehicle if you could stand over there, please? Yeah, just if you want yeah. to swing right on here. So just take a look as we drive by and let me know. Mm -hmm. That's her. Okay. Stand up, turn around, face the car. Put your hands behind your back like you're clapping. Put your palms together. No, I have broken fingers. I have broken fingers. You have broken fingers? A, a broken pinky, so it was kind of being uncomfortable. All right, I, listen, you've been cooperative. I'm trying to take it easy on your hand here. What's that? It's going to be towed. Walk back to my vehicle. The values of the Legos that she stole was worth almost $1,200 and she was ultimately charged with grand theft and transport to the county inmate facility without further incident. Ultimately I feel kind of bad for her to some degree, like clearly there's just a lot of things going on with her and she's financially struggling and honestly I think it's a very good thing that she just cooperated with them when she was discovered. She didn't try to play it off or do various other things, she just accepted, yep. I've been caught, and that is what it is. Look, also a piece of advice, if you're gonna lie about certain things, make sure you come up with a good lie, because they can see the stuff in the back of your car. You kinda have to give a good reason why it's there in the first place. Instead of saying, oh yeah, I did go to the Target. I didn't buy anything though. It's like, okay, that's very weird detail. It just makes you more suspicious, especially considering they can see the Lego in the back of your car. And for those of you who are curious, yes, investing in LEGO sets is genuinely a thing that exists here in the world, purely because most LEGO sets are only on sale for around two to three years and they eventually retire. Sometimes they get replaced with new sets that do roughly the same thing but somewhat differently, or it's something that just doesn't get replaced for a very long time, and ultimately the more sought after LEGO sets do increase in price post-retirement. It's a very interesting thing, I'm not going to go into much more detail about it because ultimately it doesn't matter too much to this. And look, I'm a bit of a believer in the she clearly acted 
with like, yep, I've been caught. That is what it is. And didn't try to fight anything about it or anything. I like. I hope that that kind of takes a note. Like, cool, you, your charges aren't going to be as harsh because you willingly cooperated once it was pointed out that you've been caught. Again, some people don't agree to that, and that's fine. Let's get into the next one. On the 1st of May 2023, a Florida Highway Patrol trooper observed a suspicious black Cadillac with an emergency light bar mounted in the rear window driving down I-4 east of I-75. When checking the license plate of the vehicle, an alert indicated that this vehicle was matching the SUV that had been reported for possibly impersonating a law enforcement officer. Here's what happens next. I'm listening, sir. I'm trying to figure out exactly what do I have in response to what you're doing because I don't understand what you're doing. Okay, you're, you're, I've conducted uh, a traffic uh, stop. Right, and you've used a bunch of coercion to do what you're doing and I don't understand why. No, sir, I've abided by the rules and regulations. That is incorrect, and we know this, but it's okay. I have got you, I got you, don't worry. But what are we doing now? You're, you're detaining me for... Trooper Shobbs indicated to me that train police canines alerted to the vehicle, and the reason why train police canine would alert to the vehicle. Shoot, I don't know even why you stopped me, so I don't know. I just borrowed the vehicle. The very first thing when you asked me. You gave me different multiple reasons, and then it turned into a bunch of other stuff, bro. I don't understand. You're telling me nothing. You're giving me a bunch of stuff to find something. That's what you're doing. I don't understand what you're doing. I'm explaining it to you. I'm sorry that you don't understand. But it's nothing for me to understand what you're explaining when you're using the wrong terminology to try to use coercion, sir. the car Can you turn the air up and plus that vehicle is closed? Hey, that car is closed. You cannot go into that vehicle. Sir, you use your cell phone to call people and took pictures of my phone and now you're starting to use the radio. What kind of work are you doing? Come close to the thing so you can speak so everyone can hear you. Because you're doing a lot of illegal stuff right now. You tried to get me to tell you who owned the rental car so you can call them because you don't think I'm supposed to be driving the vehicle. That's coercion, bro. You're using a bunch of weird tactics. That's wrong. Everything you're doing is an illegal traffic stop. Everything you're doing is an illegal traffic stop. You lied on the beginning of this traffic stop saying that I was driving too close when I was driving beside you and the next car in front of you and there was a car in front of me. You tried to swerve over, there was a car beside you so you could not come over. See, now you're taking your cell phone again. This guy right here, man. This officer is definitely, definitely, we're gonna be having to come see this guy. I'm not screaming, baby. I'm just trying to talk to the officer to find out what is he, what is wrong with him, and what is he doing. Like, I don't understand what is he doing. And look, he's about to call somebody on his cell phone again. Since when do they? When? When? What is he doing? It's okay. It's okay, Uncle. I know it's okay, sweetheart, but I don't understand what this, these guys are doing. The we laugh. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Uh huh. I am okay, baby. I'm good. I'm not really tripping on nothing. I just don't understand what he's doing. The B left, and then so. Ay ay ay. Oh man, when you borrow somebody's car, good night. I'm Sergeant Malloy with the Highway Patrol. Are you, can I ask you a question? Are, are you state, federal, or local law enforcement in any way? No. Huh? No. Okay. All right, I just saw the stuff in the car. I just want to make That's sure. That's not my vehicle. It's not your vehicle? No, sir. Why? Who's, is it a law enforcement officer's vehicle? Uh, I think he has some partaking. I can't guarantee what I'm saying to be accurate. Correct. So, I mean, do you normally drive his? No, I just went to pick him. Okay. Um, another question: Is this your sister up here? In, I don't know. In the Explorer with the uh, disabled vehicle tag? Yes. Yes. Okay. That's your sister. That's my I'll girl. Get her. Uh, that's what? That's my girl. That's that's yes. your girl. Yes. Okay. I'll get her name and stuff like that. But ultimately, if um, you do, and if, if you do end up getting uh, placed on arrest, I want to make sure you, as the father, will release your your kid to. Okay. All right. 
to is it your is it her mom no 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 it's just your girl yes okay do you have um is your mom local or anything like that too mom's not my mom huh no she's not okay all right do you know if um um da, 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 da. I don't know if you found the phone call. I'm just thinking about it again. I'm just trying to concentrate by back yeah. here. It's uncomfortable. Yeah. I get it. I'm um, just trying to weed through this stuff right now. Like you saw, you, you saw I showed up like 15 minutes ago. Uh, All right. So. It's different right. and difficult. I appreciate it even freaking opening the door, man. Just like uh, the guy. I he came and checked me out. So how old's how old's your little one? 34. Four. Okay. Is that you see back here? Okay. It's, it's not hot back here? It's okay? It's hot, man. I've been asked to turn it here up and all kind of shit. The they don't do nothing, bro. Let me shut that real quick. Hello? I'll turn the other one. <clears throat> I've been asking to do that for me, asking me, oh, crazy. They just look at me in my mind, knocking on the window, just looking at me crazy. Hey, sir. You're under arrest for trafficking oxycodone, possession of marijuana. I'm not trafficking any of those, those are mine. Do you have a uh, Yes, I do. For them? I'm telling you I'm disabled, bro. Okay, well, there's no pill bottle or anything. Well, I just got the, the, the what's you call it, and I put in, because I don't have the, 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 the pill bottle with me, of course. They, so need to, they need to stay in the pill bottle that they're uh, dispensed to you. In, okay. I mean, I'm, I, okay, I take that. I'll take that as a... As a possession okay. of marijuana, possession of uh, drug paraphernalia. What's a drug paraphernalia? Oh, the... The pipes pipe. and baggies and... Okay. What's that rock-like substance? What the hell is that? White stuff that looks like cocaine. I got... I got the I got my pills. Pills. Mine, what, yes. What's the rock stuff? I can claim what I know. Looks like cocaine. But well, obviously, I don't. I don't do coke, so I don't know. I've never met you before, sir. I don't yeah, know well, I'm. Mean, yeah, no, I don't. I can't. I can't attest to that. Okay. All those your. Assume, your assumptions. You're under arrest, you're going to jail. No, I'm, I'm with you, but I'm trying to find out what you're arresting me for stuff that belongs to me. Well, the oxycodone isn't in the container that it was dispensed in. Okay, but I can prove they belong to me because I have medications, okay. yes? Well, then you're going to have to do that at a later date that you're being charged for. So you're charging me for something that... Sir, there's no way for me to prove right here and now. Understood, that understood. Okay. Possession of marijuana, possession of drug paraphernalia, personal law enforcement officer in California. And per and doing what now? Person A, I don't, I'm, I'm trying to understand what you're saying. I don't even So you say I like, impersonated a police officer? You have the right to remain silent like you say and will be used against you in a court of law. You, you don't right think you wanted to do that before you arrested me? Sir? You don't think you wanted to do that before you arrested me? No, I was busy with other people. Okay, alright, so you know you violated there, but go ahead, finish. You have violated because you, you're reading me my Miranda rights now after you've arrested me. That makes no sense. No, but I know the law though. I know the law though. I've been doing this almost 19 And you know, you guys don't follow the law. You don't follow the protocol. Yes, sir. Speak with a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions. Have him or with you during questions. But I don't adhere to your to your laws and the rules and laws. I'm under common law, so I don't I don't abide to I don't abide to your laws. I don't abide to your laws. I don't abide to your rules. I don't abide to your rules. I don't abide to your laws. I don't abide to your rules. I don't abide to your laws. I don't abide to your rules because I heard nothing that you said so far. I don't understand the English language that you speak. It's about Master language is not created, it's not a common language. I don't understand anything that you've said so far because you're a liar and you are a cheat because you have not done anything to me so far but lie to me. That's everything you've done to me so far since you've met me, you've been lying. Since you've met me, you've been lying. So stop doing that, bro. That's why I told you the first thing you said to me was a lie. And you know it's a lie because me and you is driving right side by side. You're a liar. And I don't like people like you. Not you have been a police officer. As a person, I hate people like you. Liars, I don't like liars, bro. 
and then you are talking about me impersonating a police officer and you're a police officer and you don't follow the law and that's what you're supposed to abide by you're trying to use a bunch of different rules and laws to try to get me into a pickle. Yes, you did because you tried to. You told me what was the first thing you said. You tried to. You said you pulled me over for what? You probably don't even remember. What was following too close? So if I was following too close, you were following too close too. You can't try to took me to what? That's what I'm saying. You can't make up the rules and the laws and then act like because you wear the uniform, you're not supposed to follow them. And then you want to arrest somebody for the same rules you don't want to follow. You, where you see, see now you're telling me what I'm doing. That's what you're doing. You're falsely impersonating my character. You're assassinating it at the same time by making up stories. You're a liar. So now I'm a drug trafficker in your eyes by taking and trafficking my own medication. I'm a drug trafficker trafficking my own medication. Bro, you just told me, you just condemned me with your statement. Yes, you did. It was a straightforward statement. You're, I'm not the one drug trafficking. That was you taking yourself out of the context and allocating me. You're putting me in that position. You're a liar, bro. You need to do something about your soul, cuz. No, I don't do don't you can't talk to me because I don't understand any longer your, infra your, your infrastructure of conversation does that not have nothing to do your infrastructure of conversation has zero things to do with what you're telling me right now you have to be able to follow what you're reading to me in order for me to understand what you're saying and the information that you're providing right now is bastard is no is there's no, that's not my law that's common law you don't I don't follow your rules no I'm not following that's not my that's not what I do though that's not what I do that's your rules. You're not the you're not the law though. That's what I'm trying to show you. I'm gonna make an example out of you. Yes, I'm going to. I'm going to make an example. I hope your family is gonna be sustainable. Because you're gonna need the help. You're going to need the help. I hope you have enough money for lawyers. You're going to need the help. I promise you to God on every dollar that I have, you're going to need the help. Yes, you're going to need a lawyer but yourself, my boy. I'm telling you. All right. One thing I don't do, man, I don't make threats and I don't make promises, but I am a truth teller. That I am. That I am. And you, my friend, you're going to need a lawyer. All right. And I want your information, too. Make sure you provide me with all the details. Uh, you can't tell me what, what you're going to tell me. I want you to provide it to me. That's what your job is. Your job is to provide me with details, not act like you want to tell me what to do. That's not your job. Protect my friend and serve. Learn how to do your job. Your job is not to actually coerce people into acting like you're doing your job when you're sitting there lying, waiting, coercing with your other buddies, calling and texting them on your cell phone instead of using the microphone that you got in the car that you're supposed to call them on. Everything you've done is illegal, bro. You know it. Yeah, you're laughing because you know I'm not far from the damn truth. And I'm not stupid either. I'm laughing first because it's so utterly ridiculous. Yeah, it does sound ridiculous because I'm saying so much truth you can't even believe the fathom that I was actually paying attention. Sir, you're so far off left I know, man. We're going to see about how far off I am when we court. We're going to see how far off I am. Remember your words now. You didn't lie to me. Remember, that's what you told me. Oh, that's all been recorded. Okay. Just remember what you told me now. You didn't lie to me. And that's where your stuff started off with a lie. So that means that so your job already started off messed up. And then you couldn't find something. Then you tried to lie to me again and tell me you need to find a person that owns the vehicle for since it's a rental so you can get their phone number and call them bro that's coercive <laughs> you gotta do better bro you need to find another way to try to coerce people into trying to get you and then when i told you the law the rules on that sector what you did fan me off because you know i was right you're going to need a lawyer bro telling you the God Almighty truth. You Are you looking at me because you know I'm dead ass serious and you know I'm far from the fucking failure. You're going to need a lawyer, homeboy. Alright, just make sure you got enough money on your 401k if you got that. 
Alright, that's what I'm just saying to you. I think the union ain't gonna be able to save you on this one. They ain't. They ain't. They're not gonna be able to save you on this one. So hopefully your recording, your conversation was recorded at the same time when you put them cuffs on me. And at the same time when you put these cuffs on me, you were supposed to read that Miranda rights before. Not far from stupid, but not because I'm black, I think I'm dumb. Far from that. I am actually an educator. I am actually more educated than you. I'm an actual architect by trade. You protect and serve. It's not a job. That's what you're supposed to do, protect and serve. But that's what you're trying to do is bully. <laughs> you can't bully me though, because I, I know too much. You got the right one though. Got the right one. I'm gonna make an example out of you. So better think fast while you got me in the car right now. Figure out how you can fuck me up the best way you can by adding a bunch of dumb shit to my paperwork that don't make no sense. Cause I've been arrested for fleeing and eluding before, but I, I got arrested with no aggression, which makes no fucking sense. Right? In a 35 miles per hour. That's why I categorized you when I was talking to you earlier outside. You said, well, now you categorized me because I dealt with fuckers like you before. Liars. Cheats. People who put a uniform and feel like they're better than the world. So when they meet Paul, me, they try to abuse their power. But you're going to learn. Trust me. Just like the last one. of power, bro. Wear a uniform and you don't even want to, to do the job, the uniform, bro. You put your hand on the Bible. You guys disgust me, man. Swear to protect and serve the people that you're going out to arrest and chastise. Disgusting to the group of people, y'all, man. Y'all are just slave catchers and that's all it is. The bad you wear, your history. Slave catcher. Bounty hunter. Truth is truth, my boy. You can't fuck with the truth. That's a fact. You're a slave catcher. Protect and serve. Where's the serving part that you're supposed to? I thought we when we got arrested, you are arrested and you are what is it? How to say it go? Until you're what? I thought you're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. Huh, Mr. Bastard language? Too much truth behind here, in your ears? Mr. Bastard language, I thought I'm supposed to be presumed innocent until proven guilty. Why are you in here condemning me to be a drug trafficker? Yeah, I got real shit back here for you. You know how long I've been sitting back here waiting for you, bro? You know how long I've been sitting back here waiting for you, bro? You gonna learn. I promise you this. Dude. I'll be the last nigga you fuck with, I bet you. This time you start protecting and serving, the next time you see somebody that you don't know what they got going on, and you're not gonna abuse your power no more. You're gonna learn how to use the power to the will and wellness of the people. That's what your job is. Not to be a disgusting concubine. Bloodthirsty people, that's what y'all are, blood suckers. Just can't wait to put a number of your name and they name down on a piece of paper and put a tick mark beside it. Caught me one today. Disgusting. How do you feel, bro? When you take people that you don't know and you just like, for today's a good example for you. You arrested me for my own shit. And then you take a child and put her in the sun and in the back of a car. But I'm supposed to be presumed innocent until proven guilty. Yeah. How you feel about your job, man? Disgusting. That's what you should feel. Disgusting, bro. You should. <laughs> and you're still convinced. 
You're still convinced. <laughs> oh God, he's still convinced. Okay. You're the worst. I'm going to make a real example out of you. <laughs> this guy. You're still convinced. Okay. 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 <laughs> Yo. I want this whole. Hey, listen, make sure you know from minute one till minute now, I want the whole recording. So y'all can try to suppress any part of it you want. I will get it. Alright. Just telling you, bro. And I ain't asking you no questions when I get me back here talking shit. And you probably be like, yeah, I done heard people talk that. Y'all broke. Y'all ain't got no money. You got it right, nigga. I'm telling you. Far from broke. And I don't show traffic, my boy. Don't have to. You know what? I retired six years ago. Six. Do the math. Drug traffic for what? You sound crazy. You sound fucking crazy. Retired. Six years ago. Do the math. And I don't drug traffic. Do the math. I've been making a hundred thousand in my early twenties. You ain't probably never seen a hundred thousand. Working for mine. Full, full work. 80 hours a week, my boy. One job. 40 hours a week at another one and I put myself through school. Do the math. You can't fuck with me. Barely making 50, 60. Crazy. Can't deal with me, bro. I've been paying y'all taxes. Been paying y'all checks. Been doing that. And this is how y'all wake up and treat people like me. That make sure that you get paid, but you're supposed to protect and serve me. Disgusting, bro. But I just asked you a question, how you feel, and you feel great about it. You're a blood sucker. That's why I just called you. You're a taker. That's what y'all do, put the uniform on and come out here, act like y'all bigger and badder. You're not the actual law. You're a school wearing uniform talking chump. That's all y'all are. That think that y'all are somebody because you have on a code of conduct clothing to try to impute rules that are not actual laws. Because the land can't have any laws, you know that, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make a good example out of you. I promise you that, and you will remember my name. I won't remember yours though, but you will remember mine. I will be the last nigga you fuck with like this. Disgusting. Put all this work in in my life and in here for you to come call me a drug trafficker. You disrespectful motherfucker. Fuck ass. You rude as fuck. You don't understand how pissed you making me, bro, because you calling me some fuck that I'm not. You understand me? You're being rude and disrespectful, respectful, bro. I hate that shit. Don't call me shit that I'm not because I don't fuck off like that. You can look at me and tell me I'm not. You can look at me and tell I'm not no drug trafficker, fool. Are you, are you stupid? Fuck you, dude. I look like a drug trafficker? Drug, man, come on, bro. You rude, bro. You disrespectful. You disrespectful. Spe- you, man. <laughs> bro, you fucking rude ass motherfucker. Call me something else, homeboy. I'm a fucking architect by trade. I'm a father and a son. Fucking drug trafficker. Do I look like I'm trafficking no drugs? There ain't even enough shit in there for me to smoke by my damn self. It's weed. Drug trafficker. Dude, get the fuck on. Make you find anything in that bitch to make no money. Are you crazy, bro? Sounds stupid as fuck. But it's okay. I've been sitting back here waiting for you. You go and learn, though. Today would be the last time you use coercion and play games with you and your buddies on the phone and call this one to try to play a trick on a nigga like you think we stupid sitting there. Oh, I'm not arrested, but you're not detained either. But I'm just printing your paperwork that's right here to press the button to fucking wait for this motherfucker to give me heads up. Shake my head like we're playing baseball, motherfucker. You think I ain't seen y'all? 
you fuck ass. You think I ain't seen y'all? Mm -hmm. You gonna learn today. Today gonna be the day. You know, not put it on me. Like me. Cause I'm not the guy for you to play with, bro. I don't even play with people about the rules like that. Cause I follow minds. Follow minds. And you gonna learn to follow yours too. The same rules that you're supposed to be working off, you gonna start learning how to follow them. I will make sure of it. That's a fact. Make sure of it. So make sure you start dotting them eyes, crossing T's, and everything else that you know you can walk down that line of that crazy line that you got you and your buddies in. Yeah, make sure they tell you every rules you can cross. Because you're going to need them in the, in the, in the huddle in a second, you know what I mean? You're going to need them. You're going to need them to come up with a nice scheme to get off on this one. Rude as fuck. I'm not interested in borrowing, so you can give it to somebody else, okay? It's over? Oh my god, it's over. <laughs> You know what's the funny thing about this entire clip? The main reason why they paid attention to his vehicle in the first place is because he was following the vehicle ahead of him too closely. So they just paid a bit more attention to him. They saw, noticed all the other bits and pieces. Like, ha, huh, he's pretending to be a cop. Interesting. I'm not exactly a fan of how it seems like the police were just literally trying to take anything that they could, any charge they could throw at him at the time. Granted, I get that in America it seems like you can throw like 10 million charges at a person and only like one or two of them will end up actually sticking, which is wacky to even think about that part in the first place. But it's just, I don't know, this is an interesting clip. This just sounds like a guy who's very in love with the sound of his own voice and just continues to ramble on. And a lot of his ramblings contradicts his earlier ramblings, which then contradicts his later ramblings. It's just a weird circle that he's going in a loop here, because he doesn't know what he's actually going on about, but believes he is because he's that, that much of a narcissist. I don't know. Funky. On the 5th of March 2024, an officer conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle for an obstructed license plate because they had a bunch of stuff on the back of the vehicle covering the license plate. What happens next is quite literally on the verge of insanity. Here's the clip. How you doing? How are you? Good. Can you roll down this back window, please? Um, there's a bunch of stuff that's gonna fall out. But oh, it will. Okay, hold. On. Okay, so you can put it back up. Right you can put it back up. I just, I couldn't see it. Your tent is so dark. Oh, okay. Uh, there it goes. Okay. Do you have a driver's license on you? How you doing, sir? This good. Expired. I do have a non-expired one. Okay, sounds good. It's just broken in half. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Sir, do you have an ID on you? Yes, I have. Sure, please. 215 is there King Raymond and Stuff in? Hold on, you guys are currently in training as a P4. Try to get my training three. 34, 34, too far off. Ma'am? Yes. I don't know what you have in your bag, and I feel very uncomfortable with you. Keep on digging in there. So, do you mind not digging in your back, please? Maybe, of course. I got you. So you do have a license, though? Yeah. Okay. Sir? Oh, that's your ID? Okay, cool. So where are you from, ma'am? California. California? All right. You do have a California valid driver's license? Yes. Okay, you do? All right. Do you want to step out for me real quick? I'm just, I want to figure out your driver's license situation, okay? Because I want you to step out of the car. You're not going to? Fifteen without a unit. She's gonna step out of the vehicle. You ain't gonna step out of the vehicle. Why can't I stay in the car? Please so look at my license. Excuse me. Step out of the vehicle. I ain't playing this game. Just do what. Step out. Step out. Hands behind your back. Keep your hands behind your back. Face it from the door. Come here. 
You got weapons on you? Yeah. Come on. Take a seat. Take a seat. Step out of the vehicle. Put your hands behind the back. You're just being detained, okay? Okay, yeah. I appreciate your cooperation. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm just alone for the ride. I, I got you. Who is she to you? She's a friend. And Sit back. You got any weapons on you? No, sir. Yeah, yeah, sure. down yeah. Yeah. You got all you want. Yeah, 10-4, you can downgrade, but I'm going to need another unit. It's his normal girlfriend. friend. Yeah. She's a girlfriend? Yeah, it's his girlfriend. Other than that BB gun, is there anything? There's nothing. Right. 556, I don't illegal back narcotics? Twenty-five hour two fifty. Officer, huh? May I see your ID? Like my my. Your badge and your ID. Yeah, sure. You want to speak to a lieutenant? Oh yes, I'd like to see your ID. You you want to speak to a lieutenant? Lieutenant Nash, she wants to speak with you. Show me your badge. No, you're not stepping. Your badge and your ID. No, you're not stepping out. Okay. Show me your badge and your ID. She's trying to Samantha. Trying to Samantha. I would like to see his badge and his ID. First of all, he. No, listen. No. Listen. All right. Then you're gonna. Then, then you're gonna. Then you're gonna go to jail. I see your ID as well. My ID's right here. You're about to go to jail. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to talk you out of going to jail. You are required to show me your. There. You see it. You happy? Yeah. All right. I don't have a badge, no. California. Yeah, you ain't in California. Ain't in California. My radio number's 25. You good? All right. He's going to read your Miranda warning. Okay. Okay, totally talking yourself into going to jail. Do you know what Miranda is? She did not have a Do you know what Miranda is? No, I do not. My reason was be stay back. The reason why I pulled you in. And I'll explain the reason why I pulled you over, too. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You also have the right to stop answering. You I your ass in not fucking you moving. Do you have the right to not answer questions? Do you, do you have the right to put your hands on me? Can I yeah, finish this? Yeah, I do. You, I have you, will all, you will still have the right to stop answering any time. You also have the right to stop answering any time until he talks to the Lord. Do you understand, Miranda? Can you read it one more time? Do you understand, Miranda? Can you read it one more time, please? I didn't get quite get all that. Yeah, sure. Because you were moving. What no, you need to do I'm is stop talking and sit there. It takes me a while to understand okay. everything you just said. Okay. Can you say it one more time, please? Yes, I can. Thank you. All right, I'll say it one more time for you. Please. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer or advice. She can go to jail. She can go to jail. And to have him or her with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you before any questioning if you wish. If you decide to answer questions without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop answering any time. You also have the right to stop answering any time until you talk to a lawyer. Do you understand Miranda? I don't have to answer that, but yes. Okay, yes, you do understand Miranda. Okay, no, you're going to sit right there. I can smell alcohol coming off of you. I saw a Red Rider BB gun. You refused to step out of the vehicle. Pennsylvania v. Mims is case law where I can ask you to step out of the vehicle. Huh? I had one drink earlier today. Maybe that's why you smell it. That's a BB gun. It's not mine. Okay, sweet. So you're you're admitting you're admitting to drinking alcohol. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Let me finish, and then I'll let you talk. I pulled you over because you don't have a tag attached to the outside of your vehicle that's displayed outside the vehicle, okay? You can't see it, right? So I smell alcohol. I saw... I don't know what she's saying. I don't know. Um, there I smell the alcohol. But you can't see it. It's covered up because I'm moving right now. Yeah. In the state of Florida, you have to have registration on a motor vehicle on the outside of the vehicle, on the rear of the vehicle, okay? I was not aware of that. So I can smell the alcohol. I saw the uh, front grip of a what I thought to be a firearm. It was a BB gun. You refused to step out of the vehicle. Um, I am going to take you to jail, okay? And I'm going to do a, uh, a DUI investigation on you as well, okay? And if you want to do that, you can. That's I that's entirely... Okay, and that's fine. But you're going to jail regardless, okay? You're going to jail for what? Uh, for resisting without violence. 
Um, I'm still getting back on your driver's license. I'm not sure on that. Your proof of identification. How are you able to I didn't have to. Hey, resisting without violence, then I'm going to charge you a DUI, okay? Trust anybody who comes up to We're in uniform. What am I driving? What am I driving? All right. Well, that can be your argument in court then. That'll be a good one. Is there anything illegal inside the vehicle? Okay, is there anyone within like 15 minutes can come pick your vehicle up? Yeah, that's fine, I'll be towed. I choose to not answer any of your questions. Oh, sweet. Just towed. Inventory. Oh, sweet, man. You're towed, but anymore stuff if you're not in the That's the way I, I, I can come back. That's my vibe home, man. Your vehicle's getting towed, and if you can't... It, huh? I already showed you ID. No, we're done with that. We're done with that. You obviously know we're cops. You want to play silly games, you get to go to jail. And you don't want to figure out what to do with your vehicle, it's getting towed. And every day you don't get it, it's going to be a fee in the impound lot. So good luck trying to get that out. You don't need to see his ID. Yes, I do. No, you don't. No, you don't. By law, you were required to see your ID. Move your damn foot. No, don't put your hands on me. I said move your foot. By law, you don't know what you're talking about. Where was that? Sitting right beside him. Of course it's not. Oh man, that Mr. Got Thomas. To do with me. Mr. Thomas. Do you know what Miranda is? Um just I'm following you. I'm just... Hang out here with this lieutenant. This was loaded. I have got BBs in there. Does Samantha have a valid license? Kiwi peach, simply spiked, contains alcohol. 10 fourth valid. I'm going to give her a ticket for an open container, too. 100%. She was doing, she was doing 56 in front of me. <laughs> in a 45. No. Then we get caught by the police. Passenger was charged with possession of a controlled substance and paraphernalia. The driver was charged with possession of a controlled substance, two counts of felony, possession of paraphernalia, possession of controlled substance without prescription, resisting without violence, and she would also be later charged with smuggling contraband into prison, yet another felony. It's funny, all of this could have probably been avoided if she just had the license plate on the outside of the storage thing that was covering it on the back end of her car in the first place. That one little thing would have avoided all of this excess trouble because it sounds like they were just going to, oh, she's speeding a little bit. Let's just uh, flag it on her license plate and she'll get the ticket in the mail later on down the line and not worry about doing anything with that. And that was until, well, the license plate wasn't exactly there because it was covered up. Good job. Smart. <laughs> On the 19th of November 2023, officers responded to a call regarding a woman suspected of shoplifting. When they finally catch up to her, what happens next is, uh, kind of unexpected. Looking for her? Yeah. She's with the Zoomies. We're both law enforcement too. I don't know if she's... 4 10 4 check. Oh, I subbed over there. Oh, boy. Thank you. Copy. Come here. Don't buck. Over there. Wow. Come here. Uh oh, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Stop. <laughs> I need help. Oh, the shoulder. Please don't hurt me. I need to move my thing. Perfect. I'm my wound. Hold on. Wait. I found my teeth. Okay. Put it behind you. Behind. All right. Stop resisting. You got three of us here. All right. Good. All right. Wait, put yeah. my teeth. Yeah. All right. Hey, oh, I'm hey, taking this out of hand because it keeps ringing. Shouldn't have ran, huh? Let, let, I need this one. Let go. My mom. Nope. nope, we're not doing that. All right. I will bend this back if we have to. My right. mom. Here we go. Stay under that because I don't want her to. Okay. Uh oh, my you drop? Me on I didn't see her drop. Oh, my mom. My mom. I need to call my mom, please. Absolutely. Right. Please don't take me. Are you going? I didn't do nothing, ma'am. I just was trying to contact and see what was going on. I thought the police might shout just now. 
Did you? Yes, sir. No. That's what I'm saying. That's what I thought y'all was trying to complain me for what I just did. I thought I just got off the phone with them and I told them that I didn't do anything. Sir, can you please answer for me? Can you please answer for me? Sir, please. What? We're going to have a long time to talk. I don't want a long time to talk because I was trying to rant on myself with the police. So that's why I thought when you were running after me, I thought that y'all was trying to blame me for what's going on. And I didn't do anything. I got you. That's what I'm saying. Can I please call the police, sir? Please, sir, please. Hey, stop that watch. Let's get this off. I don't mind getting it off. Can you please call the please? I just brushed my mouth. Yeah, that was quite the uh, spill you took. Back up, back up. All the way. This ain't gonna go very well. It's not gonna go well if you don't work with me. I don't want you to Back up. Oh. Sure, she on my leg. I appreciate your help. Anything? Nope. Okay. Thank, right, thank you. you. Mm. Yes. I'm talking to you, sir. I'm listening. I just got off the phone with them. I called to verify it. Uh huh. What was going on? So I'm just trying to figure out why was you running after me? That's what I didn't understand. I didn't really run after you. Huh? I didn't really run after you. You did. You said you was looking for me racially. That's what I'm trying to tell to you, sir. Uh huh. Hi, Kristen. This is Officer Khan with the Daytona Beach Police Department. Did you call about some girl from the Dunkin' Donuts? All right, we have a girl over here. I need someone to ID her. You're saying no one can come and identify her? Somebody else All right. is calling it in I now. appreciate it. And it turns oh, no problem. No problem. Head. That's what we do. beating up uh, their roommate. Oh, more phone calls. More phone calls, Jemiah. More phone calls. That's the uh, criminal justice system. It's all about more phone calls. So... Uh, they don't want to come ID because it's store policy not to do IDs. Uh, I could take this girl for RA and then sit at the horse pool with her or cut her loose. So RA it is. Mm -hmm. right. I have great news and less than great news. The good news is the business about the coat store is straightened out for now, and you're not in trouble for that. What's bad news? The bad news is you're going to jail for RA. What's that? It's uh, what they call when the cops are trying to talk to you, and they have a reason to contact you. You shouldn't have taken off running. Come on out of there. Mm -hmm. This is Officer Forrest. She is going to search you. At what? Oh, they had me running from him and I didn't even do what they said that I did. That's what's so crazy. Can you turn around and face the car for me? Please. Face the car for me, please. Pants? Right, have a seat for me. She runs into a metal hole, blows out her tooth, her tooth is well, and knocks herself out just for like a, a second or two. And had she just stopped and talked to me, she would, the girl didn't want to come do an ID, so she would have been cut loose. <sighs> so there's no IDs at the coat store. If you've got a girl over here or a guy, hey, come look, ID this guy. Uh -uh. Nope. Corporate policy. Uh, my, uh, my. Ah. So now you got just resisting arrest? Not just a little, oh, and a VOP, a felony. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She doesn't like that. She doesn't like that. Hello. Who's filing a complaint? How can I help you? Yesterday, um, my cousin was at work. She's on the phone, but she can't 
talk like that. She, she can't really she messed talk, up. and her name is messed up. Okay, so... She can explain to you exactly what happened. He approached me. He parked over here by Under Armour. He approached me and said that I was being detained. And I asked him why I was not being detained. And he was telling me that it was because of ongoing investigation. So I told him, I already had called to verify myself. So I told him I don't have to speak to you. I walked out. So as the means of it, so I walked out really fast. He was coming behind me. Well, I had to. Him, me not paying attention, me, me trying to pay attention to him and me walking, I, I almost hit a pole. But instead of me hitting the pole, I tripped and fell. And when I fell, he slammed me on the ground and detained me. But when he slammed me, I stood up and I walked out. So I walked out and 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 I walked out well, fill out that. Um, fill out this. Yeah. Okay. If that's what you're going to file a formal complaint. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll give it to his day shift lieutenant because okay. I'm the night shift lieutenant. Okay. And then either they'll call you or someone from internal affairs will call you. Okay. okay. All right? Okay. I'll finish filling it out. Then. Okay. Sure. Okay. So I went in the back to look at the apps on cameras because we all wear body cameras. So it looks like when, when he got to the Dunkin' Donuts, she had left. So as he was walking around the outlet, um, there were some customers. There was actually some off-duty police officers. No, they don't work for us, just random off-duty. I was like, are you looking for somebody? And he said, yes. They told him what store she went in. She was hiding behind a display. So he came from behind the display. He was like, hey, don't run. Where are you going? You know, don't run. She takes off running. When she takes off running, she's looking back at him. And she runs into a pole. That's what knocks her, her, her teeth out. Um, and then she, she runs into the pole. She falls. She gets up. She grabs her phone. And that's when he handcuffs her. So he never throws her to the ground. Did he, did he snap her or anything? No. When she actually got up. When she hit the pole, she got up. And then that's when he grabbed her and just handcuffed her standing. He never put her back on the ground. Okay? All right, you're welcome. Have a nice night. Thank you. She was charged with uh, resisting without violence. I mean, it's it's so funny knowing that this entire situation, if she just stood there and talked to the officer, she would have just been perfectly fine because for some weird reason, I don't get that type of corporate policy. Something tells me there's something fishy potentially going on with that, but we're not going to look into it today. It says that they can't ID the person who supposedly stole, so she would have gotten off Scots free. But instead, the moment she saw a police officer, she just immediately ran and then ran into a damn pole. <laughs> and then, of course, because she got some injuries from her running incidents, she decides to get her family to come back and file a complaint for her. In spite of the fact that the body cam footage shows that the moment the police showed up, she just ran and then ran into a pole. And all the injury she now has is completely her own doing. Good job. <laughs> Like, I, I got nothing else to say. That is just like, good job. You really did yourself in on that one. On the 5th of August 2021, as passengers disembarked from a routine flight, a 70 year old passenger was asked by flight attendants to comply with safety protocols and properly wear his mask. Not only did he refuse this, but also erupted into a frenzy, yelling and even resorting to physical violence against the flight attendant who approached him. The authorities were quickly alerted and officers were summoned to the scene. Here's what happens next. <laughs> Lies. I don't take lies, I don't take sh I don't take bullshit crap from anyone. Listen to me. It's all on camera, sir. Bull lie. So we're gonna pull the camera. If you hit that woman, complete we get, we get lie. Absolute lie. You hear me? That's a total lie. That's what we're looking into. That's why I'm asking you. Bo Matthews and I lawyer here. What so, like, mean? all I know is he was very non-compliant. She did, my flight attendant told me earlier, I'm but apparently when we were deplaning, okay, he hit her He hit her hand and was yelling all over the place, and that's whenever he finally did walk off the airplane. But. What do you mean, hit her hand? She was like, you know, hey, just get off the airplane, and he was, like, smacking her hand or whatever. So I don't know if you want to talk to her. That's up to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The whole flight, he was just impossible. Kept taking his mask mm -hmm. off. Then when he comes up here, he goes, well, where's my bag? I said, you stand out there. And he's got, I said, put your mask back on. Mm -hmm. He starts yelling in my face. I said, sir, put your mask back on. Then he hits me. And everybody behind him. 
It's like, oh my God. And then they said he was terrible the whole time. How did he hit you? Somebody I was power tripping. Okay, so what did he, how did he hit you? Did he what Just like you standing there and I'm like, sir, uh, like put your mask on and he slaps my hand, yes. Just slaps it away? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What what do you want to do? I want to press charges. I'm sick okay. of these people doing this thing to us. Okay. Well then he goes to jail now. Yeah, this this is what we're gonna do, sir. This flight attendant has decided she's gonna press charges on you for battery. So, lie. all right, listen, what we want to do is we want to send the paperwork over to a judge and let a judge decide it, okay? If you don't choose that option, then you have to go to jail now. And then if you don't want to give us your name or ID or whatever, then we're going to have you fingerprinted so that we know who you are. Where else is there? There's nowhere to... Move me to a table and chair. All right. Move you to what? A table? table and chair. We don't have a table. Who's Julie? You say you're going to run a car? Okay, like the officer said, this is not a negotiation with you. If you do not give us your ID when we ask for it, Give me the bag. No, my bags are my bag. Now you're gonna go to jail regardless. Where, where is your ID? Wrong. I have to be free. You gotta get your hands where, off me, please. Both where is your ID? Sir. There's kids over there. There's nowhere to sit. Um, there is no table. I've already I can explained sit in that to you. There's a chair. Sit in a chair. There's a table right over there. What's the difference between that chair and this chair? He's just being a pain in the butt. You can't take it. I don't know what's you can't take it for him? I don't know what's what do you mind him to do? You said you were taking my stuff to rent a car. Yeah, I was taking you to the rent a car. Now what? you're with us. You're no longer with him. So get your bag that has your ID in it and we will help you. Okay, let me use this so I point in the right direction. Would you be so kind as to tell me which I am not telling you again. This is not up for negotiation. The office. Hey. Get your hands off me! Get your hands off me! Stop it! Get your hands off me! Stop! Get your hands off me! Stop! I'll I'll give you some information. My son-in-law is a judo champion of Japan, and that's not around against the wall. Then get your hands off me! Get your hands off me! Against the wall! I got you! Turn him against the wall! Get your hands off me! You get to your house. I need to get my ID. Get your hands off me! I got it. Liar! Okay. Get your hands off me. I'll watch your back. Watch your back. Get your hands off me! Can you close it? Yeah, I'm a, I'm I got a you. But it won't be. And you'll be... Uh, just uh, let you'll me... You'll be responsible. Get your hands off me! Hey, I just had a stroke. You better calm down for you have another one. Will you give it to me and you'll, you'll see my lawyer? It's fine. There you go. <laughs> Get your hand off me. Just relax, sir. Can you get your hand off me so I get over relax. I'm taking out my ID if you get me. Just no, relax. No, I've already given you plenty of options. You did not. Miss Motors. You almost got it. This is all complete bullshit and lies. No. Get your hands off me. Get Sweater. your hands yeah. off me. Let me don't, don't, get don't, your don't. hands off me. Don't, don't. Get your hands off me. Abusers. I'm trying to get that. Okay. Physical abuse. I got it. Elderly yes. abuse. Abusing and disabled. Abusing at the stable. Ah! Abuse! Call the police. Physical abuse. Got it. Elder abuse. Physical abuse. Yeah. Can we just sit him down in the wheelchair, or what do you want to do? Let me sit in my wheelchair now. Let me sit in the chair. You want to sit down? Yeah, right now. Okay. Without that crap on. Nope. Take this shit off. Take this shit off now. Take this shit off, you fools. Let's put that back in the Yep, thank you. Get this crap off me now. Pack it. Yes, go wash up. Get this crap off me, you liars. You're fools. This bag is heavy. He, he crushed my finger. I know. Yeah. Take these off of me now. You wanted the ID? I'm giving you the ID. Well, no, sir. You had the opportunity. False. To give us an ID. False lies. Don't touch my bag. Don't touch my bag. Watch out. Yeah, leave it the way it is. Huh? Don't touch my bag. Don't touch the stuff. No, just, just put it the way it was. I did not give you permission to go into it. Put it back the way it was in the belt on it. And don't touch my stuff. I'll just check and see if I can maybe get some more seats closer. Don't touch my stuff, I said, please. You're invading privacy and personal space. Leave it alone now. 
Put my belt back on it and see okay. close it. Close it up now, this water. You have no Next permission slide. to go in there. You're breaking personal rights. Don't touch my personal property. It's unconstitutional. The right to life, liberty, and property shall not be abused. Did you look up the uh, lawyer's name is Boy? I, hey, I need to get your info. Sure. Hold on. Yeah. Move my bag on, on the wheelchair. Keep our room together. Don't touch my bag. Don't touch my You're stuff. not making the, the demands anymore. Don't touch my stuff. Invasion of personal privacy and space. This one is don't touch it. You don't have any permission to touch any of my things. Tell me where you're on the exactly the way it works. I say I will give it to you when you treat me like a human being. Like an animal. Take your hands off. You're not going anywhere. So you take your hands off of me. It's Garza. You said you do have your ID? I can get it and I will get it. Uh, the whole time I've been cooperative. I need my hands free well, to get you're it. You're handcuffed and you're not going anywhere. So you, Let me go. No, I've been you want me to get it, I'll get it for you. When this guy, uh, animals off of me and stuff, treats me like a wild animal. Well, you had, You're asking, uh, you asking had like why. You 15 minutes to calm down. Right? Totally wrong. Can totally you just watch him? Guns yeah. or whatever. Take it off. He's not going to stay if you... Take these off, take these off of me. This is an elderly abuse and abusing uh, disabled elderly. Actually, I'm recovering from a stroke from a year ago. Would you please get this crap off me now? Do you need an ambulance? No, I want this stuff off me so I don't have a heart attack or stroke caused by these. <clears throat> animalistic people who don't know how to treat people with respect. Get these off of me. Call a lawyer, his name is Bo, I can't remember his last name. This is hurting me, get it off my wrist now. Please, take this off so I can take out. I've been cooperative the whole time, I said I'll take it out. Just let me take it out. And they give me this kind of treatment. Come on, it's totally uncalled for. And I did nothing. And I never touched anybody. In fact, the wit stewardess had her two-inch nails in my face, almost scratching my face. When I'm just asking her, where's my bag? And she treats me like shit. Completely evil and uncalled for. And making up lies about me. I don't take lies very well, sorry. Because they lost my shoes in D.C., so I'm maybe a little bit oversensitive. Which I am anyway, emotionally and socially. I just I lost my best friend in, in California, where I came from. Sorry to hear that. No. Yeah. Please don't yeah. tie me. I did nothing wrong. Take, take this crap off of me. Give us a little more time Mr. Daniel, did you go to PCC? I did, actually. Uh, so did I. Cool. Did people treat me like this? Well, you know what the Bible actually says about government, right? That as Christians, we're supposed to submit to the rule that God has ordained. Doesn't mean the government is always doing what is right, like... The current administration. Well, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure in Bible times they were literally tying Christians to posts and lighting them on fire. And Paul still said that through the inspiration don't, don't of the Word of God. My wrists are hurting. Please. Look, let's try and stand up. I'm so, not trying to stand up. Would you just take the thing off my wrist? No. Before they break the wrist. They're not going to break your wrist. They're hurting my pulse, which could hurt my heart and cause another stroke. Jonathan, Daniel, I appeal to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. They've been lying about me since I was on the plane, since she had her two-inch nails in my face. And because she had them in my face and was yelling at me, yeah, I yelled back at her, sorry. I just asked, I, I, I yelled, get, get, get your fingers out of my face. I never touched her. And she's, she's making up lies about me. I've never touched anybody. You know the best way to de-escalate the situation? Just, What's that? just let me take out my... Uh, Give me my hands free so I can take out my ID, which I was offering the whole time. And they, where's that at? They're not letting me give it to them. That's stupid. Yeah, where's it at? In my private parts, I have to be able to be free to do it on my own. Kindly free me to take it out. No, don't take You can't have my money back. You cannot have my money back. Give me my back. Give me my, give me my. That's going to hurt your wrist. You, you need to let it go. You need to give it to me so I can show uh, Mr. Daniel where my ID is. Would you please do that right now? Right now, give it, give me my bag so I can take it out. Let's, Please leave uh, my things alone. I already said I'm going to take it out. Just, just. It was all in that bag that you needed to get to, right? And, no, right no, and like I said, it's on top of my privates. 
Look at it. That's all I needed. And the whole time you didn't let me take it out. That's all right. All you have to do, you. all you have to do, is give me my heart. No, I gave you my kids freedom. freedom. Six or five. Stop repeating lies. She's been here. I don't know. I'd ask them where she's at. Oh, she did say that. Okay. Stop repeating lies. I am not repeating lies. Exaggeration is another form of lies. I asked you to tell me where your ID is. We're not doing that. Take this and, off and so I can would. put it on. Take it off so yeah. I can put it on correctly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know what? I'll just move oh, it. No, no, take this off so I can put so it on. So that you can watch it since it's your money back. No, I, I, I'll have it around my waist. Put it around my waist. Uh, let's move him and start, start going in that direction. Okay. Elder abuse. Disabled abuse. Passenger abuse. Anybody want to fly with American? Elderly abuse. They abuse elderly. They, well, they abuse disabled. There. Don't fly American unless you want to be abused. American Airlines will, stewardesses will abuse you with their two inches nails. Watch out for American Airlines stewardesses. Some of them will abuse you. Beware of American Airlines stewardesses and police here. They will abuse you also. They have no respect for elderly or disabled. Trespass no after. respect for passengers in this battery on the flight the airport. I'm resisting. Lies about you all the time. This is resisting arrest. Give me another lie. The lies will take you to hell. Such bullshit lies. You should be ashamed of yourself. Only a socialist American or people are into power tripping control. All the dictates of the government, all the dictates of the power-hungry stewardess or head stewardess pushing people the entire time. Oh, you forgot your nose, pull it up. I did pull it up and then she still starts grabbing you. Yeah, I think that'd be good. When well, he struck the flight attendant. Lie, complete lie. Careful, thank you. Complete false lie. Absolute lie. Okay. Idiot. She, she says I struck her. What kind of idiot lies is that? Woman with two inch nails in my face ready to scratch me? That is total lie. You gonna lift your foot up or gonna go on the shrimp? Incredible lies. You better get it. away that. Just swing a little bit of yeah. water. Don't let her go let her get away with those kind of lies. Can you please take these off so I can call the lawyer of my friend? No, nope. you're gonna get a phone call when you get to the jail. A year ago I suffered a stroke. I actually don't need the wheelchair, but it did need, did need help with the bags because they weren't fitting, so I I put that one on. Actually, there's still another bag that I think well, uh, either on this or a different uh, flight, but I'm not sure which because they're not helping me. Got gotcha. you. What did we get? I need help call? with that instead of get hell. Come on, I'm recovering from a stroke. I've been in the hospital three months. Don't you think they could treat me with a little bit of humanity, kindness, and consideration? So sometimes the map, the what do you call it, mask slips down because I got a big nose and also I can't see because of the cloudiness on my glasses. And I got to breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. You know, some, some of us can't breathe either, you know. And I'm I I saying that and they were, oh, we're not listening um, for a woman yelling at me with two inch nails. Office, downstairs to do it? And sure. me. Do the paperwork? Asking her we'll yelling, do please don't have your fingernails in my we'll face. Do. I got a printed out. She makes a false, take them in my car anyway. a false charge that I hit her. What kind yeah. of crap is that? I never touched the woman. Unless this African American tried to spread another lie and portray it as racism, complete lie. I sat next to the largest African lady, African American lady on the plane, and we formed a, a good friendship. And she's Seventh Day Adventist Christian, and Christian background similar to mine. And we shared a lot of good things, including the fact that. Uh, one of the most famous African-American singers, Stevie Wonder. His sound man manager happens to be my cousin. And believe it or not, I was a member of the NAACP since age eight. So where's racism? Not it, only on her part, not mine. I need to pull the video on this. We don't need to see. Her nails are incredibly long. Did you see how long her nails are? And you might have freaked out if they were in your face too. Sorry, I don't take too well to being yelled at with two inch nails in my face. You know what I won't take too lightly to? You fighting the police. That's BS too. Okay, okay, I was there. Yeah, and why, why did you put pressure on an innocent, disabled, elderly person? Why? Sir, you're not innocent, you're going to jail. For God's sake, for Jesus' sake, stop this lying. You're going to game. jail. Stop your lying game. You're going to jail for battery. You're not innocent. 
Total lies. We have witnesses. They're all Total lying. Li They're all yeah. lying on you. Yeah, that battery is complete bullshit. It's complete. Mm -hmm. She almost scratched my face, but I never laid a hand on anyone. Don't give me that lie. But I would watch myself. If I were you and you and me, we all need to watch ourselves and treat each other better than you guys have been doing. How have I treated you poorly, sir? Well, all of... Uh, no, I'm not saying about you, um, Mr. Jonathan. Okay, well, you just included us all in uh, that statement, all, so I was just wondering. So far, well, you haven't relieved the pain of this metal on my wrist. It's, it's actually very excruciating pain and hurtful. I can fit a finger beneath well, each of those cuffs, which means ow! they're take not it. too please, tight. Please take this off. And you screamed ow after please, my hand was already away from please the take, cuff. Please take this right one off right now. No. See, uh, you're playing a power trip just like the stewardess. Power tripping me. One of your wrists has even got fabric. Power tripping. Underneath it. Underneath don't, give, don't give your excuses for elderly abuse and, and, and uh, abusing a disabled person. They're all BS excuses, all right? Mm -hmm. I hear you. You want to I be mean, treated the same way? I've got pretty big fingers, and Try it. like I said, they can fit between your wrist and the cuff. Okay. So. Excuses don't help when a person's in pain. I don't do anything that's going to get me put in jail. Go ahead, take this off. And I did nothing okay. that anyone should take me anywhere. That's complete BS exaggeration, which is a form of a lie, as you know. I didn't touch anyone. Power tripping control through using COVID to control people and abuse people. I can't breathe. Not just Floyd can't did breathe. Did you put this in here? Did you know this garbage can is not going to get emptied? No, I hadn't used it. Uh, I never come in here. Who would do that? In 10 6 I don't know. It has to be one of them. Yeah, 10 one. Not just some plaques, but some whites can't breathe either. Yeah, I can't, well, I can't breathe through this mask. I can't breathe, and, and my glasses get fogged, so I can't see as well. Me either. I don't so even wear when glasses. I'm trying to get off the plane, I gotta find where's my bag, and I can't see it. So it was I'm all working off my nose. Right She's yelling in my face with her two-inch nails. That's to live. We're all kind of tied up. Don't you agree? Yeah, do you remember what I told you? Oh, I don't sure. know. No big deal. I know you're not listening. Uh, tomorrow, I told you that's you between you and America. Complain on Hey, Pat, just a second. I'm going to call yourself out. But that has nothing to do with me. Uh, yeah, what has to do with me is you're you, repeating I, your lies. I ask you if you hit her, and you wouldn't answer me. All you said is, it's all lies. It is But I said, lies. No, answer my question. Of course I never, I never touched anybody. You never said that to me. I did from the beginning. I said it's a complete lie, which means I never did it. But I, I asked you, did you hit her? And you said, complete lies. And I said, we're going to pull the video. Complete lies. Yeah, you never would answer me. Oh, of course, Elias, that's not true. Even what you're saying is false. Oh, okay. But power tripping feels good to your pride and ego, I guess. Well, no, this is what I know. That's too bad. That's Everything what is you're recorded. doing. That's what she's doing. Everything is um, recorded. Another story. I don't believe your fabrication. Sir, do you see this? It's all recorded. Do you see that on him? We're all recording. Yeah, on the other officer? Yeah. We're all wearing you it. Can it's make all up, recorded. You can make up one or ten or a hundred lies. They're all lies. So what is this thing here? If you know it all, what is this thing that we're wearing? I never said I know anything. I don't know it all. Uh, video camera recording, I thought, I know they're on the front of some cars. We're all wearing them now. Mm, I'm not, I don't know about that. Well, I'm telling Although you. Although I have friends with LAPD. Ask them. They're wearing them too. Sometimes they are, sometimes not. Okay. Sometimes us, sometimes not. But I'm telling right. you right here. Everything that happened down there was being recorded. Yeah, and of course I've never touched Make sure and tell your attorney that. Never touched anything or anyone. Where's my bag and where's my... So when I asked that question, it was not just this knapsack bag. No, it was... Uh, you knew <clears throat> that bag right there. I bet you. There's a... Uh, looks like a tamarack bag right no. here. And then Please the take this tan off. Bag. I, I, can't, I, I need to be able to see it to be able to the, No, yeah. I need to be... I need to have it off to answer my question. So get, the tan bag or the get black Get this bag? off me now. I'm trying to ask you which bag. Please get this off. It hurts like hell. Well, the handcuffs aren't coming off, sir. Then may God be your judge, which he is. Oh, I know that. I'm okay Man, with that. I'm sure that I would not treat you this way. So what are you, what are you needing from the black bag? No, you're not listening. Um, let me stay in stand so you can put that around my waist. No, where, I'm not going to put it back on you. Where, but I'll put it on me. No, it's, it's not going to go back on you. That's my money. You have no right to take it or touch it. I'm not taking it. Well, you yeah, have, don't have a right to touch it either. I want it on me. Actually, I do have a right okay. when I search your person give, give after an arrest. Give my stuff fast. Uh, a totally um, illegal arrest. Okay, like I said, you'll get your day in court to, to argue that. So you're still not listening, neither one of you, sorry. Don't they train you to listen?
I was asking for clarification on which bag he wanted, uh, and he just started and going off on me. Because so. that shows you're not listening. Please leave my thing alone and don't touch it. You've touched it twice now, and I don't want you touching any of my financials. Put it back. I'm sorry, you're destroying trust because you already have. I want it put back, and I want you to not touch my personal things. Put it back. I want my personal finances, and I don't want you touching anything. I've made that clear already, Miss Waters. You're not listening. Leave my things alone. Don't touch it. Put it back and give it to me so I can wear it around my waist where it is safe. I don't feel safe in your hands. Kindly put it back. Do you want to give me your social security number? Kindly put it back. Do you want to give me your social security number? When I when you help me get my bag that was sent, because they didn't answer my question and you're not helping me answer the question. Did they send my bag on the first flight to Pensacola from Charlotte or on the second one? Please let's go and recover it. Because I obviously need my suitcase. This is complete bullshit. You're charging me with something that's a total lie? <clears throat> Complete crap. Do you remember what I told you about that, though, in the beginning? Oh, that you're lying, I guess. I said, there's her side of the story, and there's your side of the story. We're going to do the paperwork on it and send it to a judge, and a judge can decide. And, and then you went ape crazy on us. No. Whenever I asked you for your ID. False. Lie. You... Uh, treat me like you a, started you pushing that like, wheelchair. You treat me like a wild ape, twisting my arms. Okay, you know uh, when that hurting happened? Hurting my wrist. Let me tell you when that happened. Whenever you grabbed that wheelchair, we had you a table and a chair, which is what you asked for. I said, "There's a table and a chair right there," and you said, "No," and you went to pushing that thing and smashed my fingers in between the chair and the thing, the brake bar. No, I didn't. Okay. And whenever you smashed my fingers, the other officer saw you and my hand was stuck in there. Okay, sorry if you stuck so your the, hand in there. I didn't so see that. I was trying to push your wheelchair just, to the I, table I, that you asked for. You, you never said that. I never saw a table. And I said, oh, my hand. And that's when the officer grabbed Actually, you, you and snatched you off pardon, of that chair to me, let go did, of my hand. Ms. Water, excuse me. You told me you didn't have, we have no table and chairs is what you said. Completely, we did. Completely false. We did. Even your own testimony does doesn't accord with itself. You said, you told me we don't have a table that just, no, you can't sit down or something. That's how you talk You to wanted me. privacy. A table and a chair and privacy. And I said, we don't have that. That's fine. And I said, you look right said there, there, sir. You never said there's a table and chair to sit down. All I asked, I asked John, for a place to sit down. And then I said, look, there's one right there. I saw it, at the, but it wasn't privacy. It was right there in front of no, everybody. No, I don't think you ever told me there's a table and chair. I, I never heard you say that at all. Well, I told you I there was a table I, chair, I, and that's I, when you pushed the wheelchair. I, I don't think you did. I think you're making things up as they go along. Okay. Well, like I said, it's all recorded. No, I don't. Sorry, I don't. I can't really. You don't believe that? I, no, I don't think. I, I think your word is not trustworthy. That's why it's all being recorded. Yeah, you spread and repeat lies and never listen to the other side. Oh. Okay, okay. You turn it how you want. Uh, you just, turn it how oh, you want. It's like hell. Okay, you turn it how you want. No, please take it off. Well, it can't come off, but you can. Rotate it how you no, want. No, actually, this side, if you keep it on the left and put the rest on my belt, it's okay. Do something that at least relieves it. It's a great pain right now. You know, his arm up. Hold it up? Yeah. Oh. No, no. oh, oh. Okay, be still. Like you're, you're be cut, still. You're cutting my wrist bone. Are you cutting off the circulation? Don't, don't be grabbing for anything. Wait. Hey. Let go. Uh, no. I'm trying to help you. You knock it off right now. Do you understand? You know what? I'm trying to put my fly up. Let me I don't care what you're trying to do. Do not no, pull your hand away put, from me. Let me put we, my fly. We do no. not care about your fly. I care about my fly. Come on, it's my private person. See, See how that's doing that? What is this? See how that's doing that? Zero understanding. Okay. Exaggerate. Well, you about know what? what? Trying to help you out? And you're no. trying to pull your hand away no, from me? No, I you? asked to give me enough yeah, freedom. Yeah, I told you no one to stop. You don't make the rules in this situation. Is that on your belt? Leave it on my belt. What is that for? Leave it. Is that any kind of medical? Leave my phone alone. Let me have freedom so I can close my thing and close Do you my... want to sit down there or I there? I want to close my fly and I want to close this because you're stealing my phone next. Your fly is, is down like this much. Yeah, let me, let me, let me close it. What, can you let, let go of me so I can close this and that? As long as you're standing, my hand's going to be right here. If you you want to are sit down, one control freak, aren't you? Yeah, control freak, man. Are you charging him with the felony battery, Elio? Or are you letting that one slide? Um, I think... Tony's just going to put resisting with. Okay. All right, go and stand up. I'm sure, Je need, need I'm sure Jesus would not treat people like you do, do it, but then he didn't throw stones either like you guys do. Well, that's fine. You can believe whatever you no, want to believe. No, let me show you where I want that. Let me show you Let me show you where I want my keys. The keys are going where I put them. Uh, you're really a power tripper. Separate aren't you? your feet. You're really a power tripper, aren't you? Leave my stuff in, and, and you, the strip search is a jail. It's not here on the street. 
And you know that you're illegal. You can tell that to your lawyer too. No, you don't give me this shit, okay? You know they do, they do this out of jail anyway. They just take me there and let's do it there. To kind of put it back there so that we both remember where it belongs. You can tell them that to jail. No, you ones that no, store everything. No, no, you do it and put it exactly where it belongs. Otherwise, you're stealing. And we'll be charged for it. Okay, go ahead. You can charge me. Are you hungry? You can have some. Unfortunately, I'm not. I appreciate it, though. I ate lunch before I came in today. It says if your enemy is hungry, feed him. May, may I read the rest of it, please? Your Go ahead and step in the car. Go ahead and step in the car. No, you're pushing me into the car, into the door. Get in the car. You're pushing me into the door. Let me go at my own pace. Then go. Remember, I'm just standing here. I'm not pushing you. Remember, I had uh, what do you call? It? That's fine. Therapy for three months. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not pushing you. I'm just holding your arm. But we gotta get in the car. I can't sit like this. Can I sit in the front seat? Nope. Uh, like Would it be easier for you to get on the other side where there's not a step down? Uh, then it's just a step into the vehicle. Uh, yeah, but there's still okay. the, the same same thing here on that side too, right? Yeah. Actually, the, 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 the arms are going to end up getting uh, hurt because they're You already, can lean forward. They're already hurting. Okay. Well, as soon as we get in the car and get to jail, the sooner they can take them off, that'd be all right. Did you unzip, unzip the, 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 that's what it'll be a little bit cool. Go ahead and step your foot out. No, I'm going to hit my head, see? I'll pad your head, don't worry. I've done this before. See? Go ahead and step in, I got your head. Sam, once you get up front, I'll adjust the air a little Jennifer bit. Jennifer, I'd like to the charges against me. You're gonna give me one now. And my license, please put it exactly where she took it off from. Go ahead. Would you put the yeah, license? I can get in. Would you put the license exactly where she the took it off? The license is staying right here. They'll get it no, in the jail. No, I'm saying put it in. Sit the, down. Put it in the front of my in my uh, fanny belt, please, where she took it Sit off down. from. Sit down. Oh no, actually it's in my blue. It's supposed the blue thing. You put it in my. I'll give it to jail. They'll no, put no, it no, wherever put they it, put it. No, Sit down. No, would you put it? In? Sit down. Sir, it goes. No. In, Sit down. No, it goes in my blue change purse. Put it in there where, where you took it off from. Damn, you're hurting my arms. I'm not even Shit. touching you. Yeah, you're hurting my arms. Just like you guys did forcing me against the wall. Was that you? Nope. I can't believe that you were doing what the other guys were. I wasn't even up there when no, all that happened. Okay, and no, yet I, you're no, accusing me of it. No, I'm not. I said, I can't believe that you were doing it. I asked, did you hear? I said, was that you? You heard me ask the question. I didn't. I yeah, I said no. And then he said, I can't believe you would do that. Uh, yeah, which means you didn't. I wouldn't believe that you would. He was ultimately charged with battery and resisting arrest, and my god, these cops were on a roast battle today. He said earlier in the clips, like, oh, I've had a stroke before, and then the officer's was like, well then calm down, otherwise you're gonna have another. It's just like, okay, that's not exactly a roast, but that's a comment and a half. Ultimately, I just sit here and think, it's like, isn't, isn't your, aren't you going to get wiser in your old age when you've been around for a long time, you get smarter? Though I do suppose that... Some people also experience mental degradation very quickly, especially after one's had a stroke. So you do end up doing some more idiotic and stupid things like we have here. And also, that is quite funky. It's just like he puts, the officer puts his finger between the cuff and the guy's wrist like, there's a lot of room there, moves it away. Then the old man goes, ow! It's like delayed reaction much? Is that actual just your reaction very, very delayed or you just trying to... I don't know, it's such a weird, weird thing, because it's not really helped him in any way, because we're watching this entire clip, it's like, oh, elderly abuse, elderly abuse, it's like, it's like, not really, they tried to get you to get, you, they asked you to get your ID out, you refused to do so, and then later on you said, oh, you never gave me a chance to do that, when they did, they gave you multiple times, multiple chances to do that, and you just refused to do so, so, that just seems like a you problem, buddy. On the 7th of April 2021, officers responded to reports of a disturbance due to an altercation between a couple. As they arrived at the scene, they encountered the pair. And what happens next is crazy. We, we left each other last night, that was it, man. Okay. kind of mad. <laughs> okay, so are you guys fighting? No, hell no. Well, we gotta call it, you guys were physically fighting. No, me and her play together, man, you know? Like, always. How are you playing together? Like, we spar together, you know? Always. Me and her do that all the time. Okay. Together, man, that's it. So you... She ain't got no, I ain't got no, I ain't got no marks on me. Okay. Because she was, I, she was hitting you, but you were, man, I ain't you were wanting I, it. Look, no, she, man, she, yeah, she, we was playing together, that's it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So yeah. it wasn't? No, no. Okay. No. Hell no. I'll play, I'll, I'll play. Joking around. No, I'm laughing. Okay. No, I'm no, like, I'm like really? All right. <laughs> yeah, just stay back there for me. All right, so what's going on, Tiffany? You just all it's, playing around? Yeah, that's okay. it.
Nothing. No. I promise. Were you punching them? No. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. Like well, a physical... we play fight. Yeah, we slap box. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are slap boxing, but. But nothing serious. It was. Yeah. He wanted it. No. He wasn't saying don't. Hit we me. always do that. Okay. So you guys were uh, agreement. That we're you guys together, were gonna... but we always do that, and everybody's <laughs> like, oh, you guys are da, da, play da, da, fighting. Da, 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 da. Like, you know. Like, you know who called? Give me a break. Probably them. Okay. Were you over there? Or were you in there? I was, yeah. And I took his necklace off his neck. That's yes, okay. I did. Like ripped it off, or huh? like ripped it off, or just? Nah, took I just it? took it. Okay. So you weren't touched against your will. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> okay. So you were willing to get hit. <laughs> a willing participant. I didn't hit him yet. Can I? No. <laughs> you guys are slapping each other around, right? Can I hit him real quick? No, I'm just joking. I mean, always We're always play always. fighting. Okay. Still gonna kick his ass. Just... Play fighting. Man. Right. Okay. But you like... can't. Yeah. You, yeah. You're gonna get called on that's if you're fighting that's what I, was I, had doing. Cold, I had a cold man for sleeping. Uh, cement and all that shit, man. I had a cold man. I was sick So uh, you went and got the room? <laughs> uh, I got some wrestle. <laughs> Hear me? I got some wrestle. You hear me? I got, I got my chest, man. I actually got broke. I am so mad at him. I got that shit broke. Why are you mad at him? Because I am. I'm going to go get some KY warming jelly and smack him with it. <laughs> okay? That's why I'm mad at him. <laughs> and I'm going to smack him in his face. Yeah, and I'm telling you right now, I am going to do it. <laughs> I really Damn. am. And are you I'm like good. this? You're a willing participant Damn. in that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so so you're saying there's no crime here? So if no you shit. find KY warming jelly on his stuff, well, I'm not gonna on find his any face, jelly on his face, I did it. I know I did it. I did it. Okay. You do that in the I feel like I'm exactly. a Jerry Springer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. So were you guys fighting? Are no. you arguing? This or is this all play fun? No. Play, 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 play. Okay. So no. you do no, like no, a both. domestic disturbance? What's she talking about? No. But it's all. Yeah, I was arguing no, with him. Okay. What would you do if you, if your wife found you with KY warming jelly all over here and came back and tried to have sex with you? What would you do? <laughs> or what would your wife do? Slap you, right? Yeah. And then go get Man. some KY warming jelly and smack you too well, with it. Well, what would you, right in your well, face. What would you do like this. If your girls you see? You know, now do you get privacy. my point? You know, in your own privacy. You now know? do you get it? Your own privacy. Okay, good. But you That's were, it. but you said you were physically fighting him. But no, it was we all were play. play fighting. Play fighting. Okay. Yes. If I really want to knock him out, I knock him out. Yes, she would. Okay. I know you know. She would. <laughs> so you say it's play fighting too. Hey, we just playing this shit. Hey, you guys have IDs? I ain't got. I don't have. I lost one. Let me grab my. Let me grab my Oh, it came out as a physical fight, so that's why we're here. But it wasn't like that. Tiffany, what's your middle name? Oh my God, are you serious? Okay. Okay. Did it seem like it was play fighting? They're saying they're play fighting. Well, I'm trespassing from here, but they're, awesome. they're claiming they're play fighting. Yeah. Um, okay. Both of them. You own just this corner, right? Yeah, I own trespassing. Just the corner one. You don't own the whole plaza, do you? No. Um, they can do it Okay. I went in there. I took his necklace off like this. But you would do the same thing too if you came back with KY. Oh my God, we came my woman jelly on us down here. I, I honestly, I don't even know. Like, what would your wife do? I have no idea. I mean, really? I, I, I really? And I'm crazy for that, and just nuts, and just what? So what, what I why, mean, for why, real. Why did you get upset, Like Because he thinks it's funny. Okay. And it's not. All right. So. And I still take him back. So yeah, I pushed him. Big deal. Okay. I did. Did you hit him in the right. face a couple I times? You. No. Okay. You lie. <laughs> you lie. <laughs> so I, now I hit you now in you're the lying. face. Okay. Now you lying. All right. Did now I hurt lying. you? Well, all right. So how about? Camera's right here. Do you want to? I don't care. So now you want me to go to jail? Ma'am, what's go your lie. first name again? Don't Tiffany. Lie. Tiffany. Tiffany. You want to come over Just here? Just take me. Don't lie. Well, I. We don't haven't lie. even. Just Tiffany, just come over here. I just, t I, just I want that's you guys to stop want. talking and arguing. So. That's what you wanted. Tiffany, come on. That was Tiff the whole purpose. Tiffany. Right. But if I went to him with KY Mormon jelly on, on my vagina, he'd be all over me. Who'd you, who'd you sleep with? Blah, blah, blah. That's what it's all about. Okay. So and then he thinks it's funny. 
So you're, you're, and it's not. Okay, so your issue is you think he's with someone else or cheating on you or whatever. Yeah, and then he thinks And that's what you confronted funny. him about. Right. Okay, so how did because you guys end up over here, after though? He had, after he came back with the KY warming jelly, mm -hmm. this jelly is warming gel, he comes back and tries to have sex with me. And he thinks it's funny. Okay. It's not funny. And that's back at the your guys' like, tent set up or someone's house? No, it's house? when he right, got out right out of jail. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I guess you guys were in an argument about your KY jelly. <laughs> oh no! Okay, so look, there they said that it wasn't play fighting. It looked I mean, like she was. She was doing. She was swinging on me. It's on camera, man. Okay. They got camera in there. You know? Did you not want to be hit? I'm not saying. I don't want pressure, man. Man, man. Okay. I don't pressure, man. Give me on nobody. You know? But was was it play fighting or was it not play fighting? I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Well, you know what play fighting is? I mean, slap box and stuff like that. But she's, I mean, she's they're saying she's there, man. She's coming here on me, you know. And just. I, mean, I don't want pressure, man. You hear me? Okay. Is that just what happened to your chin? Let her get over it, man. Yeah, is it bleeding or something? Yeah, that yeah. wasn't there earlier, right? No, 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 fresh. no, no, no. Okay. So what about tonight, though? Is it? Did the KY thing happen tonight? No. So what happened tonight? Why are, why are you guys... He left me in Daytona earlier. I had to walk home till 4.30 in the morning. Then he okay. goes, oh, that's why we ain't got a problem to. You think all this is funny? Wouldn't you be mad if your wife did that to you? So he... How, you guys were in Daytona I mean, really, for what? Wouldn't you be mad? What were you in Daytona for? Because we went and got a room for the week. For the week? Yeah. And then he left you there? Pretty much. How did he get back here? I don't know. I walked. I still have blisters on my feet. Okay. So you walked all the way back from and Daytona And then I got here. mad at him because he threw all my stuff, my clothes and everything, wherever he put it. So yeah, I pushed him. Okay. You, yes, I did. Okay. And I don't care. I pushed him again. Okay. Well, we don't want that to happen. Okay, good. We're fine, though. And I don't know why everybody called, and he thought it was funny in there, so I went up to him and pushed him in the restaurant. Big deal. So what is it, you were inside the restaurant? I was in there talking to my boss, man. Okay, and then she just I ran around the table. <laughs> I ran around the table. In, <laughs> that's it, man. That's it. Okay. How long have you guys been dating? Well, like three months, man. Okay, it. but you had an intimate, Not long enough, you know? have an intimate relationship and all that? I mean, man, I want to be with her, man, but, you know, because she's crazy as You know, I, I got to look, somebody's got to look after her. You know? Yeah. Somebody's got to look that there. So she's, but she's your girlfriend, right? Yeah. I mean, you guys yeah, been dating? Yeah, I, I thought that, I thought we would. You, know? you guys are dating, living together and all that stuff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so she just comes in there and confronts you about the KY you know, I left her, I left her last night, you know? Okay. You know? You left no. her last yeah. night? I mean, she left me. Oh, okay. You know? And she, then, got, she got a car with some other black dude in Daytona, you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. See you. And then you guys meet back up tonight. Hey, I, I didn't meet back up. I just come here, man, and talk to my boss. Oh, so she found you here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. he comes and finds you here, yeah. and then just slaps you because you had KY around here. <laughs> no, that was another thing. Okay. Another, another so what happened thing. tonight then? Tonight she's coming in. <laughs> she's coming and coming around me. That's it. Just started fighting. That's it. Really? So no reason. She didn't no. tell you why or anything. No. She just shows up and starts. Coming. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, the right. camera's still on, you know? Okay. Good thing about the camera, you know? But you're saying it wasn't play fighting now. No, no, I'm not. No, but it, I mean, I'm saying, man, she's on. coming here, man. Man, man, look. It's not play fighting. Man, man. I'm not going to do it. It was play fighting, man. Okay, it wasn't play fighting. It was. It wasn't. It was. It wasn't. You already told me it wasn't. It, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. It's on your cam. It is. Camera tells all, like you said. Exactly. But so, look. He thinks it's funny throwing all my stuff away. And then coming back, okay, why well, warm me jelly on your dick? When you say throwing your stuff away, like... I asked him where you put it. I don't know. Okay. Now you see why I'm upset? So you, I've been so in you, the same clothes for two days. What's back at the, the camp then? Anything? Nope. Because I moved from there. Where are you living now? At my friend's house. And then I hear he's messing with this girl, that girl, this girl, that girl in the white tank top, Jackie. <laughs> supposed to be messing around with all these chicks around here and I'm not supposed to be upset really and who is he your, your boyfriend or yeah but I'm not supposed to be upset she uh, came in there yeah. what, what is she what is she upset about because you left her last night or because she, she left I, you because look she I told her man she accused me of accused me of leaving the hotel room and I was like man I ain't leaving man. I ain't leaving you know okay. and all of a sudden man I was like I want to fuck some prostitute you know okay so but, you told her you, you had yeah, sex with yeah, a prostitute yeah yeah that's what I said 
then she slapped. That shit ain't true though. Okay. That was last. That was uh, last night yesterday. Matter of okay. fact, yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. So why is she messing with you tonight? What's going on tonight? I ain't seen her all day. I mean, I've been in the hospital all night. You know. Okay. All night long. You know, I got proof of that. You know, they damn much, the damn much did see me where I was sitting all day long, you know? Okay. They see where I was all day long, you know? Okay. And then I left there, and then went to work here. Got so off you work. were working? Yeah, I went okay. to, I went to, no, no, I got, I already got off. I come back in here and talk to them and everything, you know? Mm hmm And I seen her, she walked up, you know? I mean, what she say to you? She's with that dude ride, one arm, the one arm dude ride. He's trying to beat my ass, you know? So I started shooting me too. So you know? She's with another guy. But but I walked away, you know. I walked away, man. Okay. Sitting there, man. You know. When did she hit you and get that mark? Oh on man. I mean, she got marking me for real. Yes. <laughs> You're bleeding. For real. Yeah, right here. When did that happen? For what? I don't know when that happened. Man. How'd that happen? I might be. I might be. You, know? you might have did not. I might be. I might be. I might catch myself. <laughs> 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 we already know how like you said the camera says all so Man. <laughs> so what exactly how'd you get that how'd you get that Did she hit you with closing yeah, or I, open hand I don't know you don't know I, don't know. I plead the fifth <laughs> I plead the fifth <laughs> that's you know what that's for right pleading the fifth yeah it's against self and current yeah. it's for against like saying you're saying something about yourself and get yourself in trouble oh for real yeah so I won't get myself in trouble no. okay but you're not because uh, you're, you're a victim yeah of a crime, I don't possibly. Know, man. I don't want to ever get myself in trouble. Okay. Yes, sir. So that's like self-incrimination. Yes, yes, that's what yes, the fifth is for. I mean, she's going. I mean, she's going right now. Okay. Yes, sir. So she's, why would she just come up and hit you? The two thing and the KY thing happened yesterday. Is she yeah. still mad about that? Yeah. Okay. And that's why she came and hit you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because she's still pissed off that's about that. That's the only that. thing she's talking about. Okay. But see, now he's gonna try to get me in trouble, so don't, he can go fuck don't another. Don't start bitch. with another argument. All right. Don't try and egg him on. All right, what? Tiffany. What? Talking to them, they're saying it wasn't play fighting. You just walked in and started We hitting. were play fighting. And, he's and I now didn't saying, hit him. How's that play fight when you walk in because you're upset and you're mad about I him pushed sleeping him. with a prostitute? I pushed him. Okay. How's that play fighting though? Well, I pushed him. And we were play fighting right out here. And then he gave me a shirt, tried to give me a kiss, and gave me a hug. How did you How did he get that scratch on his chin? I don't know. I don't have nails. Okay. Was it from hitting him with your ring? No. I didn't. He's had that. He got beat up by the tree in the woods. His nose, everything. So a tree beat him up. Yep, because he was drunk and fell into it. They're saying you walked in there and just started hitting on him and hit him in the face about eight times. I hit him in the face how many times? Eight times. Really? Yep. Oh my God. So is that what's going to be on video? That's a lie. No, go look. You can okay. go look at the video because I didn't hit him eight times. Okay. At all. All right, I'm going to go check the video then. I feel bad for the guy. We can go back just a little bit. No, I, yeah, I swear she face. punched him about five times. Or, or at least five or ten times. You want to have a seat back on the curb for us? So oh my god, wait. I hit you in the No, 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 not, not over that one. On this curb right there. That's what they're saying. Tiffany. I didn't even hit you. Stop arguing. All I see you do is come sit on the curb. If you keep trying to argue with him and egg things on, I can put you in handcuffs and put you in the back of the car and we'll wait there. Is I that what you want to do? I hit him. Okay. Can I please smoke a cigarette? Just give us another minute, all right? Once he gets this sorted out, y'all can go about your way and have all the cigarettes I can't, you want. Because he's gonna be in there lying. Well, the video and can't then he's lie. Be like, oh, my tape doesn't work. <laughs> like he always does. You know, I'm probably going to jail, right? Because they're writing statements saying I punched you in the face eight times, and I wish I would have now. I promise you, I wish I would have. They are. And you're saying I don't know. Are you serious? So let me go get my friend Rod, who saw the whole thing too. Rod Anderson. Go get him. Uh, where's he at? Down at his uncle, uh, brother's house. Yeah. Go get him. So he was here for all this tonight. All of it. He started walking off when you guys came. Gotcha. And he saw the whole thing. I did not hit him in his face eight times. Well, I'll let Officer White know when he comes back I over. I really punch you in your face eight times. Or are you just saying that to go yeah, get with Jackie and Kim? Up, Is that what you're doing? Okay. Again, let's yeah. not have an argument. All right? See? Because him and Jack, I'm telling you. Right. Go get him. Go get him. See? Now do you see go what's going on? I didn't hit you in your face eight it. times. I don't need it. You don't need it? Yeah, I, don't I didn't do nothing to you. Again. Nothing. Tiffany, stop arguing. 
So go be with your girlfriend over there. He hit me too. Who? So it doesn't even matter. Did you tell Officer White that before? I didn't hit him in his face. Okay. Did you tell Officer White that he hit you? No. Nope. Okay. You see how it makes it harder for us to do what we have to do when you don't even give us a full in story? His face eight times. Okay. But you gotta all be honest with us when we're asking what like happened. This. Okay. That's all I did. Alright. But again, you gotta try to be honest with us about everything. Good and bad. Otherwise we can't do our but jobs. It doesn't matter. Why not? Go just go get my friend Rod. He'll tell you the whole thing. And if he has cameras putting this way and that way, he'll you'll see the whole thing. I did not hit him. Okay. Look at the cameras. Well, I, I don't know where it happened at, so that's why I'm asking you. So it happened inside the store then? All I did was ask him where my all my stuff is. And I uh -huh. said, oh, you think it's funny? Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden I said, Jackie, why are you f***ing my man for it? She goes, oh, that's not my boyfriend, blah, 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 blah. Now all of a sudden I hit him in his face eight times. Okay, but you're telling me that he hit you, so when did that happen? It doesn't matter. Okay. They're all trying to get me in trouble so he can go shoot up with that junkie bitch. Okay, but if he hit you, then that means he did something wrong. She's and I'm asking you to tell me about junkie. it. A heroin junkie that. Okay, I know it's hard for you to focus right now, but I, I need you to, because you mentioned that he hit you. Where matter. and when did it happen? You see how that's even less helpful than to throw that oh, out there and then tell us no information? All right, Tiffany. What? I watched the video. Yeah. So, I've got a pretty good idea of what's going on. Okay. When you walk in. Yeah, I took his necklace off. Okay, well, he starts running from me around the table. He, did, he was playing. He was laughing. He looked like he was playing. He was laughing. We always play like okay, fight like that. He didn't look like he was playing. I'm telling you, he, he was, was in a laughing. Defensive he posture. just gave me a kiss and gave me a shirt okay. right before you guys pulled up. Okay. And I never punched him in his face eight times. You, did, you didn't do it eight times. It looked like maybe two or three times. I didn't even hit him in his face. I pushed him in his chest and took his necklace off. Okay. So I didn't even hit him in there. You never punched him, but you did swing at him. Yeah, Did you just so not make contact? he swung at me too. Not on the video. He kept his hands down. He right. was in a defensive posture. Okay. But that's why he was sitting there laughing, talking about, baby, I love you, the whole time. What's your relationship with him? He's my boyfriend. For how long? Four or five months. Four or five months. You but guys... he's already cheated on me with Jackie, so of course they're all going to say whatever. You got Jackie inside? Because she's nothing but a shooting up junkie heroin. Okay. Mm. You guys have an intimate relationship? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, with that being said, right now you're under arrest. Are you serious? For battery. Put your hands around your back. So now I'm going to jail? For what? I didn't even hit you. You're I didn't also, even hit him. You're also <laughs> trespassed from that business. I don't okay? care. So don't go back in there because you can go to jail for that. Oh, now they're going to go shoot up in my tent now. Were you jealous of No, him he or threw something? all my stuff, my clothes, and everything away. I thought he was staying in a hotel in Daytona. We were, and we just got back the other day, and I just walked all the way back from Daytona all the way, and then I was with Jessica Minutillo last night when Officer Velez came up to her. And now I'm going to jail for battery. Yes, ma'am. For what? I didn't even hit him. Pushing is still battery. I only tapped him. Unwanted touching. I'm telling you, I didn't touch him like that. All we were doing was play fun. We do it every day, all day. Okay, well, he said otherwise, and it's not clear. The video is pretty clear that he's defending himself by putting his he hands up above his head. He didn't defend himself. He just came out and gave me a kiss and said, baby, come home with me. And that's where I was going before you guys came. We were about to go home. But it's okay for him to hit me too, huh? There's nothing on video of him hitting Yeah, me. exactly my point. When did, well, you never said he Out in you. the driveway right here where your car is parked over there. Okay. But that's okay. I asked you earlier if there was anything and you said for no, what? you guys just play fight. I just here. wanted to see what he was gonna say and now I'm going to jail. For what? I didn't even hit him. The video shows you hitting him. I didn't hit him. I tapped him. That we always play like him. that. We always play fight like Josh, am I right or wrong? We always play like fight like that. Even in the driveway. Now I'm going to jail for nothing. <laughs> when we always play fight like that every day. This is wrong as f I ain't seen nothing to him. It is fucked up. Where's his necklace at? On the floor in there where I took it off at. No, I just grabbed it and just that's it. But it's one of those links. 
And even Josh knows. I didn't even hit him. Come on. For what? You're not for nothing. Go be with your junkie shooting up heroin, bitch. That's what you do and stay out of my tent. I got, I, look, look. This is what I got to deal with now. See what I write this? I got to deal with every fucking girl in the fucking Daytona, you know? Well, this is just about tonight. I know, but look. All these girls over here in Daytona are going to try to jump on me, you know? Why? Because she knows them all. Well, I mean... You know, She's going to jail no matter what, though. No matter what right. you're saying. I ain't worried about them. I ain't scared of them. They're not one of them. You know? Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> Step on out for me, Tip. I ain't do nothing to him. Nothing. I ain't do nothing to him. Wait, wait, wait. Nothing. Tiffany. <laughs> no, because he's fucking loving me. That so fucking love me. I ain't do nothing to him. I should have been in his jail. <laughs> that many times since I saved his f**k all the ambulance and everything and you still don't even care go put some more water jelly on your shit Here, hold still for a bitch Tiffany, Tiffany. <laughs> and then try to come back and fuck me again that's what you do <laughs> and then every two or three days it's like Your feet, Spread your feet a little bit wider. I didn't do nothing to him. Now I wish I would have. Tiffany, I wish I fucking would have. I wish I fucking would have hit you. I wish it because now I'm going to jail for nothing. Stop. Leave me. Don't ever call me again. I promise you don't hit you. I swear to God. Don't do it ever Love me again. Okay, stop. I promise you. Okay, stop. I promise. Where did you go? I promise you. you I, <laughs> Tiffany. Tiffany. I, I didn't do nothing. Okay. Settle down so she can finish cutting you down. I swear to God. I didn't do nothing. Hold still. I didn't do nothing to you. Okay. I promise you I did it. Back up, back up. I promise you. Can I pull my pants up? You got them? <laughs> I swear I did pants. it. Yeah, I think they're just. She was ultimately charged with battery and resisting an officer without violence. And this entire thing was just kind of wild to me. Especially considering how everything just unfolded, because at first they were both happily agreeing that it was just play fine. There was nothing actually bad happening here. But then when it found, when the guy found out that other people also believed that he was being actually hit by her, and then camera footage was also pointed out to exist for this entire incident, he quickly backed off of the initial claim of play fighting and decided to go on like, "Yeah, you actually hit me," which. You can either see just two different things. Either A, he decides, like, screw it, I don't care anymore, I'm going to get rid of her. Or B, genuine, he had no idea if people would be able to side, if the police would side with him or not, if he straight up said that, yes, it was violence. Especially considering she was standing right there, he probably didn't know what her reaction would have been for that type of thing. Either way, what a, what a crazy situation to unfold out of everything.